Hey guys, good morning. Pete from Pete's Two Cents.com. Today is January 27th, uh, 2010. Uh, the market's uh, still doing the same thing as uh, we've been doing for the last couple of days. Uh, pressure downward. Uh, the Dow is currently trading at uh, down 24 points. Uh, S&P is uh, one point. And believe it or not, NASDAQ is popping up uh, one point in the green on a positive note. Uh, pretty much we've been trading in a range. Um you know, I think we still have downward pressure. Um, today's going to be pretty much of a blah day. Um, I think day traders, professional day traders, market makers are the only ones that are going to really do decent um, as far as scalping. You know, you really got to be a professional to scalp the market today. Um, if you're an amateur or semi-amateur, you're going to have a hard time finding uh, some decent stocks. I mean, you may. I mean, you, you know, always uh, lady luck. Uh, you know, out of the thousands of stocks out there, you may find some. But, uh, you know, I, I'm seeing buying activity. And as soon as the buying activity and volume starts increasing, uh, the market takes it back and starts pulling back. That's both for the overall market and uh, some individual stocks that I'm just jumping around and looking just to see what kind of activity we're having. Uh, the big buzz today and maybe where some money will be poured into is um, Apple and Google. Google, not so much on their own, but maybe following on the footsteps on the heels of Apple with uh, the Apple keynote starting in a couple of hours with the announcement or hopefully the announcement of the tablet. Um, with that said, um, Apple may either hit the ball right out of the park or, you know, strike out one or the other. I mean, usually Steve Jobs is on the money and uh, he comes out with some major, especially major announcements like the iPod and stuff like that. That was like uh, revolutionary. So if the expectations are drummed up and, you know, become a fact of this i tablet or i slate whatever they're calling it let me tell you something uh the apple stock may hit uh 250 as uh, a lot of pundits and a lot of uh analysts are, are are claiming uh apple right now is trading at 203.35 uh currently down over a point uh down two dollars and 59 cents i wouldn't worry too much about that particular number because yesterday, uh, Apple was up over $8. So if you made money on uh, Apple, you were holding Apple, hopefully you sold into the rally or you lowered your position into the rally, again, selling into it. So you can buy it back now and then uh, just cross your fingers. I mean, Apple always comes out with something good. So you got to really be a believer um, that if he is ready to launch this uh, this tablet, it's going to be uh, a winner. You know what I mean? I find it real hard to believe. I mean, if he doesn't present a tablet today, um, you know, <laughs> we'll see that, that the stock going from two, uh, 203 to 150 in a heartbeat. But uh, you, you got to believe. You got to believe. So let, let's see what happens in the next couple hours. That, that's going to be pretty much the news of the day, uh, regardless if you're a trader or not, or if you're a geek or you're a techie. So that's pretty much it. Um, I have a six-month chart of the S&P 500. I'm not pushing too many individual stocks today. There are some stocks, but there are a lot of stocks failing in the 50-day. So um, I want to wait a little bit because I think we need to find the overall true market direction before we do anything else. And as you see here, the S&P 500 has, you know, fell off pretty much a cliff here. You'll see up here, uh, it just started curving out. Uh, this is the five-day moving. And it just, boom, just straight down. So um, put us, you know, under the 50, very dangerous here on this blue line. So, uh, you know, it is trying. We have some support currently. It's at a support level right now as we speak. And you'll see here it's trying to turn around. I don't know if that's going to happen. There are a lot of shorts. If you look at Twitter or you follow Twitter, uh, the conversation on, uh, let's say, the hashtag stocks um, and stock market, you're going to see there's a lot of shorts out there and a lot of people trying to tank the market. Um, you know, amateurs, semi-amateurs, and professionals. I mean, we've, we've been rallied. We need a correction. We needed a correction. So 
Um, this is, uh, you know, this is this is fine. I don't mind a correction. But, I mean, we're talking about what to do right now. So I would be very, very careful. Uh, the market is at a support level right at this moment. And it is here that is trying to turn around. And you'll see volume is picking up. And now uh, the market is trying to turn around. The next uh, support level would be, um, in my opinion, there's a few before, but would be, I mean, a major support level will be here in this area of 1050. So if we don't turn around starting today or tomorrow um, or in the beginning of next week, we may see 1050 before a serious turnaround, okay? And if it goes below 1050, then we're in deep trouble because the 200 day will be coming uh, right around the corner. So uh, 1050, I think, will be the next major support line, uh, support area. So let's uh, let's see if we can turn it around here and get the bulls back into the game. All right, guys, let's see what happens with the Apple announcement. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. This is Pete from Pete's Two Cents.com. Thanks, guys.